Namaste, everybody. How are you? Hope all of you are doing good. Namaste. Let's start the class. So we are going to start the class with the prayers to Lord Ganesha, Devi Saraswati, Devi Lakshmi, and Lord Rama. So let's start the prayer to Lord Ganesha. Hold your hands and chant with me. Oh, Ganesha Namaha, Vakratunda Mahakaya, Surya Koti Samaprabha, Nirvignam Kuru Medeva. Sarva Karyeshu Sarvada Shukla Varadharam Vishnum Shashivarnam Chatur Bhujam Prasanna Vadanam Dhyaye Sarva Vigno Pashantaye Very good. And now prayer to Goddess Saraswati. Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kama Rupani Vidyarambham Karishyami Siddhir Bhavatu Me Sada and now, prayer to Goddess Lakshmi. Namaste Astu Mahamaye Shri Pite Sura Pujite Shankha Chakra Gadahaste Mahalakshmi Namostute And now, prayer to Lord Rama. Oh, Ramaya Namaha, Ramaya Rama Bhadraya, Rama Chandraya Vedase, Raghunathaya Nathaya. Sita ya Pataye Namaha. Very good. So today I'm going to tell you all about Holi. Holi is another Indian festival like Diwali. And this year Holi is on March 8th. So Holi is a holy is called the festival of colors. See, so many colors, all these colored powder. It marks the end of winter and welcomes spring. It is celebrated on a full moon day in March. And this year, holy is on March 8th. Happy holy! Happy holy, everybody! So each color has a specific meaning. <clears throat> for example, green is for harmony. Orange symbolizes faith in the future. Blue brings health, while red represents love and joy. The main message behind the Holy Festival is that all of us should live in harmony and spread peace and happiness all around. That is what Holy is all about. To, we should all live in harmony and spread peace and happiness.
<clears throat> the first day of Holi is celebrated as Holika Dahan or burning of Holika. I will tell you all about who Holika was. And Dahan means burning or Choti Holi. The, the, uh, you know, the day before the big Holi festival. After sunset, people gather around the bonfire, perform puja, say prayers, sing and dance around the fire to celebrate the triumph of good over evil. Just like Diwali, Holi is also a celebration of good over evil. And it is called the Festival of Colors. The next day, everybody gets together with family and friends to play holy in the morning and have a delicious feast in the evening. We prepare special sweets on, for holy. We celebrate holy by rubbing colored powder on each other's cheek. And these colored powders are made of flowers. You know, different colors of flowers, they are dried and then grinded and then made into colored powder. See? Happy Holi! Everybody is so happy on Holi Day. It is a day of joy, dance, music, laughter, and getting together with friends and family. See, everybody is dancing and throwing colors with water guns, these are called water guns, colored water on each other and just enjoying themselves. People throw colored water and water balloons on each other and then they say, Bura na mano, holy hai. Please don't mind, it is holy. Could you also say loud, loud? Bura na mano, holy hai. Bura na mano holy hai. See, he has a water balloon in his hand and he's going to throw at somebody. And it is written, Bura na mano holy hai. Please don't mind, it is holy. Just as Diwali, holy also celebrates the triumph of good over evil. And there is an interesting story about it. And I'm going to tell you, once upon a time, there was a demon king named Hiranyakashapu. And this is Hiranyakashapu. He worshipped Lord Brahma for many years in extreme heat and cold without eating anything. He went to the Himalayas and he lived in a cave for many years. And he worshipped Lord Brahma because he wanted to Lord Brahma to be happy and grant him a boon. And we will find out what boon he wanted. Lord Brahma was pleased with him. And, I, and he appeared before him and asked him to ask for a boon. He said, I will give you anything. Then he said, Lord Brahma, Please, please grant me the wish that I will never die. And Lord Brahma said, I cannot do that. You have to ask something else. So then Hirnakashapu asked that he should not die either during the day or night, neither in his house nor outside, from neither man nor animal, and by no weapon made of either metal or wood. So he made sure that he, he does not die. So if he wanted, he said, I should not die during the day or night, neither in this house nor outside, from neither man nor animal, by no weapon made of either metal or wood. And Lord Brahma granted him the wish. So the boon gave him a lot of power. So he lived recklessly and ruled ruthlessly. 
he became very proud that they were. He said, I'm not going to die ever. But we will find out what happened. Right? Yeah. Hirna Kashyapu had a son called Prahlad. See, he is Hirna Kashyapu. And his, he had a son and his name was Prahlad. Prahlad was a great devotee of Lord Vishnu. He would chant Lord Vishnu's name all the time and during all his daily activities. And you know what he used to chant? He used to chant, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Now listen to me and then you also chant with me. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Now you chant with me. What Prahlad used to chant. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Hirnakashyapu did not want it, Prahlad worshipping Lord Vishnu. He did not like it at all. So he was very angry. And out of anger at Prahlad's devotion, Hirnakashyapu had him put in a pit of poisonous snakes. He asked his guards to put Prahlad uh, in, a, in a pit of poisonous snakes so that he will get scared and he will not chant. Lord Vishnu's name all the time. So look at all these poisonous snakes and look at the guards. They just wanted to scare Prahlad away. But nothing happened to Prahlad. Then he wanted to kill Prahlad. He had also attempted to kill Prahlad. And you know what he did? Hindakashyap had also had him thrown from a cliff. See, from a high cliff with his men, his guards, through Prahlad, hoping that he will die. But each time Prahlad came out unharmed because Lord Vishnu saved him from any harm. So Hirnakashyap's attempts all failed. This made his father Hirnakashyap even angrier. And he was always thinking ways to kill Prahlad. So Prahina Kashyapu had a sister and she had a boon also from Lord Brahma. And that boon was that fire would not kill her. So when Hirna Kashyapu's attempts to kill Prahlad failed, he asked his sister to enter the fire with Prahlad, thinking that the fire would burn Prahlad, but not his sister. So uh, Prahlad, uh, Hirnakashyap's sister took Prahlad and entered the fire. However, the fire burned his sister because she used it to harm someone else. That was not Brahmaji's. Lord Brahma has said. He said, fire would not burn you as long as you do not harm any other person. So however, the fire burned his sister because she used it to harm someone else. <coughs> but nothing happened to Pahlad. Hinakashyap's sister name was Holika. Hence the name Holi. Remember on the day before Holi, there is Holika, the hen. So people burn uh, you know, bonfire and they dance around celebrating the death of Holi, Holika. And that's why the festival is named after her and it is called Holi. One day, Hirna Kashyapu uh, as, uh, as said to Pahlad that you say that your God will protect you. Can you show me where he is? Pahlad said, God is everywhere. 
Prahlad was standing next to a pillar. So the demon king asked, is he in this pillar? Prahlad replied, yes. Yes, he's in the pillar. He's everywhere. God is everywhere. Upon hearing this, the king got very angry and broke the pillar in half. Hirnakashyap just got so angry and he broke the pillar in half. And the very next moment, Lord Vishnu appeared, emerged from the pillar in the form of a Narasimha. Half human and half lion. See? Nara Simha. Nara means a human and Simha means lion. So see, his body is like a man, but his face is like a lion. This happened at twilight when it was neither day nor night. Because uh, Hirnakashyap had a boon from Lord Brahma that he will be not killed when it was day or night. Right? So he appeared at twilight. He lifted the king and took him to the threshold of the palace such that they were neither inside nor outside the palace. Then he placed Hirnakashyap on his lap and killed him with neither metal nor wood but his claws. So he kept Brahmaji's words but he still uh, killed, uh, you know, uh, Vishnu, obeying, uh, keeping Brahmaji's words. And here, Prahlad is just praying to Lord Narasimha. This is Lord Vishnu who appeared as Narasimha to kill Hirna Kashi. So this was just like Diwali where Lord Rama killed Ravana. The good, the triumph of good over evil. Here, Hirna Kashyap is evil and Prahlad was good. So this is holy is also celebrated as a, a triumph of or a victory of good over evil. So in the end, good always wins. And now we are going to sing together a little hint, a poem about the holy which I wrote. You will also learn a few more Hindi words. So first listen to me and then we will sing together. Holy I, holy I, rang birangi, holy I, dhoom machati, holy I, Kushiyan lai, holy eye, holy eye, holy eye. Now, let's all sing together. Holy eye, holy eye, rang birangi, holy eye, dhoomachati. Holy I, Kushiya Lai. Holy I, Holy I, Holy I. And now I'm going to tell you the meaning of this nursery rhyme. Holy has come. I, you know, like has come. Holy has come. Rang birangi means colorful. Rang birangi. Holy eye, colorful holy has come. Dhoom machati, holy eye, making noise, holy has come. Kushiya lai, holy eye, bringing happiness, holy has come. Holy eye, holy eye. Holy has come, holy has come. So let's together sing one more time. Holy I, holy I, rang birangi, holy I, dhoom machati, 
होली आई खुशियां लाई होली आई होली आई होली आई सो होली इज ऑन मार्च एट एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू सेलिब्रेट होली have uh, you know go and uh, ask your mom and dad dad to buy you colored powder and then you rub the colored powder on uh, each other's cheek and dance and sing and have lots of fun so happy holi to all of you si chota hati raj and rani all are playing holi and having lots of fun so now i'm going to end the class with the prayers which we have we have learned and you chant with me sarve bhavantu sukhinaha sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchit tu भवे काले वर्षतु पर्जन्य पृथ्वी सस्य शालिनी देशो यम शुभरहिता ब्राह्मणा सन्त निर्भया ओ शांति 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 मे देर बी पीस 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 एवरीवे एंड नाउ रानी एंड राज विल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट सम प्रसाद एंड यू एक्सेप्टेड ग्रेसफुली एस ए ब्लेसिंग्स फ्रॉम लॉर्ड गणेशा देवी सरस्वती देवी लक्ष्मी and lord ram so namaste for now goodbye phir milenge see you in the next class goodbye